Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Conquer Cage, Mike Morales. And ladies and gentlemen, his opponent making his way to the Conquer Cage, Deron Wynn. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the CFC3 co-main event of the evening and is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the CFC Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, he stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighed in at 203 pounds. He is a hardcore striker with a pro record of nine victories opposite five defeats with one draw, five wins coming by way of knockout. He represents the Iron Pit Fight Team, fighting out of Susanville, California. Please welcome Mike. Chunked Morales! And across the conquer cage, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighed in at 203 and one half pounds. He is a wrestler making his pro debut tonight, representing the throne, fighting out of Fresno, California, Deron Wynn! And our referee in charge of the action, Kane Vandal. Protect yourselves at all times. Follow my instructions. Sound of the bell, come out ready to bang. Touch gloves, return to your corners. All right, here we go, guys. Kane Vandal back in the cage. It is Deron Wynn in the red corner. He's in the Black Valley Tudo trunks. Mike Morales, 9-5-1 from Iron Pit Fight Team in the white board shorts in the blue corner. And here we go, light heavyweight division. You guys don't blink. Deron's going to get punch his way in. Fastest double leg I've seen around. This guy's amazing. And there it is. Look at that. Just like Thompson said. World-class wrestler. Number two, number three on the Olympic ladder for American wrestling. Just an animal. Look at this. 203 pounds of pure muscle and he is landing a lot of shots and this fight might already be over. And I think Kane Vandal's going to stop it. Yeah, it's too much, man. Now listen, I pointed out before this fight started that you've got a guy in Mike Morales who's got 14 fights, and Deron Wynn had none, and it didn't matter at all. Now listen, Deron wins pumped up as we watch this replay, and he just ground and pounds him to death. And I'm going to tell you what happened. Mike Morales looked over at Deron Wynn. He said, good fight. And Deron Wynn went like this, like, oh, get out of here. And then Morales said, what's your problem? And Deron went like this, you're nothing. <laughs> and that was the end of that. I don't think Morales wants to fight him again, I can tell you that. When you're dealing with guys that have trained on the world-class level, this guy literally has traveled all around the world and competed against Russians. Um, you know, Iranians all around the world wrestling the top yes. talent in the world in wrestling. You, things like this don't bother him. Yeah, absolutely. he came in ready to fight. I was in the and back. I was in the back, and I did an interview with him, and he said he's going to do just that. He said it's going to end fast. He's like, either I'm going to slam him really hard, or I'm just going to get on top of him. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee in charge, what he said. Kane Vandal, steps in and calls a stop to this bout at 28 seconds in the round number one. Your winner by way of technical knockout from Fresno, California, and now undefeated, Duran Wynn! I gotta tell you guys, one of the best trainers in the world, Dan Black, just came over to me and he said he didn't agree with the stoppage. He said it was a terrible stoppage. What do you think of that, Josh Thompson? You think it was a good stoppage, Josh? Uh, yeah, I thought it was a good stoppage. It wasn't going to get any better for him, and that's just because I'm speaking from experience. Like, all as far right, as all right, Duran, Duran, congratulations the rest of the on is your on victory Duran's here favorite. tonight. Just I believe talent. you should have a new yeah. nickname, Duran. All I do Duran is win. Right <laughs> Man, I'm going to tell you what. Your training came through with flying colors tonight. The goal, get him on the ground, punch him out, go home and have a beer. Talk to him, brother. 
Uh, you know, honestly, first and foremost, I want to thank everybody who's here, all my support in Fresno. I'm not from there, I got the support system. I want to uh, thank my mom, my grandma, everybody who supports me. Second of all, you know what? I, uh, I felt kind of disrespected uh, yesterday at the weigh-in. Uh, this is my life, this is my job, but this dude made it a joke and ate a taco on the fucking scale. This shit's funny. Hey, is it funny now? Look at you now. Look at you now. Look at you now. That's all I gotta say is, hey, I'll be back. Hey, we love trash talking, man. It makes the sport what it is. Congratulations on your victory. Okay, Ladies so and gentlemen, one more time for Deron Wynn. Okay, so now it's been explained. He said, listen, I'm a world-class athlete. This is what I do for a living. This guy made it a joke. He ate a taco while he was on the scale in weigh-ins. Is it funny now? Look at you now. So that's what Josh Thompson was talking about. You're talking about a world-class athlete who doesn't like a guy eating a taco on the scale, disrespecting the sport, and he made an embarrassment of Mike Morales, who's had 15 fights because Morales didn't take it seriously, and that's where Deron Wynn was coming from.